Hi everyone. Hello. It's Brett and Lisa with Ida H2O Adventures. It's Friday, September 17th, and we're at the Coeur d'Alene Resort, which is behind us, and we're here for a special event. It's actually a classic wooden boat show, and uh, today, Friday, and tomorrow, Saturday, we'll be uh, around the boardwalk, a bunch of classic uh, wooden boats, Chris Crafts, Scarwoods, um, you know, those type of boats. And so we're gonna take a lot of pictures and hopefully some videos and hope that you'll come along on this journey with us. So this is the world's only classic wood jet ski and the name of it is Little Woody. Very cool, all made of wood. And it comes from Flathead Lake, which is Montana. Very cool. Here's a beautiful Chris Craft. It's for sale. 1947. And it's for 39.5. Engine in the back. Nice inlay wood. There's another boat, and this looks like it's been restored completely, or in the process anyway. Another Chris Craft. How you doing? Good. This is a 1959 Chris Craft 17 foot ski boat. Very nice. Mm -hmm. You guys doing this yourself? Uh, high school project. Is it a high school project? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, thank you. We've been working on it for about two and a half years. Nice. nice. Should be done hopefully this year. <laughs> yeah. Well, that takes takes a while, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we're uh, we're YouTubers. You don't mind if we put this on YouTube, do you? Oh sure. What sure. school? What school is it? Since Valley High School. school. Very nice. Uh, over in the Spokane Valley. Uh, it's uh, Cinder Valley Bear. So our boat is called Barely Afloat. Oh, nice. That's really cool. What's your YouTube? I'll give you. A, I'll give you a card. It's Ida H Two O Adventures. Awesome. How many uh, kids are working on the project? Is it several uh, classes or? No, it's our Skills USA project. It's so it's an after school project. I tell everybody Skills USA is like uh, FFA without the cows. Um, <laughs> we have usually about twenty or so kids involved in Skills USA. Uh, the pandemic slowed us down quite a bit, so uh, otherwise it'd be done. Uh, the engine is all ready to go. It's back at the school. So, uh, and what kind of what engine is it? 283 Chevy. Nice. Uh, so it should be. It'll be auctioned off um, around January, February, and then the proceeds will go back to the school for a new project. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank also, you. Sure. Uh, two coats of varnish, and we have 20 more to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, just what it looked like from the very start. Wow, look at that. You have really transformed it already. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you guys just find it somewhere? Or uh, it was on Craigslist. Yeah. And then we got it donated. It got donated mm -hmm. to us. Yep. Very cool. Yeah. Great project, you guys. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna take a stroll around the famous Coeur d'Alene boardwalk, floating boardwalk, and here's some information on it. It's the world's longest floating boardwalk. It was built in 1985. And there's some information about how many bolts and how much lumber. And we're gonna go around and look at more boats. So, we're here on the boat boardwalk. This is the start of it. This is the kind of the north end of it, if you will. We'll, we'll go across that little walkway in front of us, which we go up some stairs and that allows boats to come in and out of the uh, little harbor here. 
Yep, and up there in those buildings, and we'll get around this blue awning. This is actually the Hagedone corporate offices right here. Hey, Dwayne Hagedone was the founder of this entire thing, the builder. That's the Coeur d'Alene Resort from the water. We've got whispers there with the lights, the outdoor patio part of it. And then they've got Dockside, the uh, Beverly's restaurant is on the seventh floor. That's those diagonal windows, if you will, um, about a third of the way up. Kind of a cool view of the little bridge, the opening to the marina. As you can see, there's quite a few people here. First day of the event. A lot of interest in this. Old wooden boats. Very cool. That's so cute. Yeah. That's a uh, Schooner Creek boat built in Port Lauderdale. I read. I read. I read. I read did it. For my grandson. Yeah. Very nice. Great. We'll enjoy it a couple more years. Very nice. 1947 Chris Craft runabout. We just spoke to the owner. He's restored both this boat and the little sailboat. Made it for his grandson. Made it for his grandson. He's three right now. Yeah, he'll be enjoying this years to come. Very nice. There's a beauty right here. Chrysler. It says it's a 1953 Chris Craft Sportsman. <laughs> this one's from Michigan. Hotsy Totsy. And this is a 57 Chris Craft Lancer. Hi, we're, we're with Sheila Chaps, and they're actually from St. Clair, Michigan. That's her husband over there. Oh, yeah. And they said it took six days to come out. Yes. But you're here, took a month off just to kind of enjoy. Cruise this part of the country, and it's so beautiful. We're so grateful to see these wonderful waters. And you, you say you take this out quite often in Michigan, too, right? I do. I don't know if you know, but Chris Smith started the Chris Craft industry. Mm -hmm. It's just like 20, 20 miles from our house. So it's just full of Chris Craft owners. And another century, there are other many wooden boats that come from there. And so we all like to play. And you're in a club there, back there? Yes. That's yes. cool. What's the name of the club? Michigan Antique uh, and Classic Boat Society. Very yeah. nice. Well, thank you. We, we're very glad that you're here. Well, thank you for stopping by. Yeah. So okay. so we have a little bit more history about the boat. <laughs> right. This boat was named Hotsi Totsi in part because it was named after a 1930s Gold Cup racing boat, which was wooden. But then we discovered that uh, Clive Kessler wrote a book for his grandchildren about a magical wooden boat. And he has the book? Called Hotsi Totsi. And we went and he signed it. We, we, we met Clive Kessler and oh. he was very excited. How cool uh, is that? Hi, yes. Patrick. Because my dad likes his books and I yes. said, oh, we can Very it. nice. Yeah. Well, and he, he took his picture with Pat and put it on his website and, and yeah. everything because oh, wow. we had Hotsi Totsi on his shirt. <laughs> He, nice. was, he so. was a grand marshal at a show in Texas. There it is. In 2008. He, he signed very, it. very oh, cool. cool. Yeah, so we talked to him and told him about our boat. And, uh, he was and kinda, it's in a magazine, right? Yeah, we yeah. got him to the um, Rudder magazine okay. a few years ago. What year was that? 2019, not that long ago. Yeah. yeah. So that was after a show in Skinny Atlas, upstate New York. How oh, nice. Well, we, we gave your wife our YouTube information, right, so. We're going to be on oh, YouTube. Great. Okay. <laughs> so you're filming the yep. show? Oh, great. I'd yep. love to see it. And this is the history on Hotsi Totsi, how he got it and what he did to it. Very nice couple from Michigan. Kind of feel like we're uh, doing this backwards, but it's cool to see the, the names of the boats first. And this is a 38, but look at it, how pretty that is. And this is a, looks like a Garwood, it says. I could just turn the yeah, isn't that neat? 38 Garwood Streamliner. 
What a beautiful boat. And Lisa spotted a quilt. Two quilts, actually. Yep, that have boats right on them. I really like the interior of this. That's really cool. It looks like the old old gauges in the in an old automobile. Very nice. I like this one. Here's a 66 century. It's got 250 horsepower in it. Owner is from Beaverton, Oregon. Another century. This is from Vancouver, Washington. Some nice inlay. You can see how they, they put the screws down in the wood and then they put a, a, a wooden dowel in behind it, pound it in, and then they seal everything. Is this our doctor's boat? James West? Hellbent. This is a home built 2014. Looks like it's got Bentley gauges in it. <laughs> wow. That is a beautiful engine. Nice woodwork. And so the wooden boats here aren't just for show. This is actually one of the resort boats. It's a Hagedone built uh, wooden boat built right over there. And these are actually shuttles that go from the resort over to the golf course. And uh, you know, there's a captain that runs it and passengers go to and from the, the resort over to the pool and the uh, floating green restaurant, I believe, right, babe? Mm -hmm. This is a 65 century resorter owned by a guy in Coeur d'Alene. <laughs> Got a champagne on ice. Here's a better shot of the resort boat coming in. They've got the opening in the front. That blue tarp in the front is actually a circular cutout where people can sit. And you can see the man has golf clubs sitting up there by where he's standing, sort of. Well, those aren't golf clubs. That's the helm, the steering area where the steering wheel is. Very nice, 1967 Century Coronado. Beautiful. Nicely done here. Yeah, that's the old seven up bottle over there. That's the logo for the old Flying A gas station, mobile. Nice inlay in the wood there. Nice Pontiac. Yeah, isn't that a nice combination? 63 Yant. and you can hit pause and read about it. This is a beauty here. Stan Craft. Mm -hmm. 